I love such chat. She's a beast. You don't think you expect it, but that minion gets really annoying and it starts replicating every th three turns. It keeps on making a new one, making a new one. It gets really, really annoying. She's a pain in the butt to deal with on, on defense. Hey, thanks so much for checking out the channel. If you're curious about any other hero in Empires and Puzzles, you can view my website at anchorgame.com. There you will find I have graded every single hero with a calibrated team of graders. This resource will always be free. Thinking about supporting the hero grades in the breakdown videos? You're welcome to donate. Otherwise, feel free to share this resource with a friend. I have my exclusive line group called Anchor Cove, where you gain access to myself and tons of other experienced players with on-demand information and resources. If that piques your interest, all that information is on the opening page of my website with a short video. Let me dive into today's Hero Breakdown. Hey, thanks so much for checking out the channel. Today we're going to be doing a brand new Hero Breakdown on Seshat. The Vampire Queen, she's got 760 on her attack, 683 on her defense, and 1345 on her health. Statistically, the attack power is a little bit above average, pretty decent. Defense means a little bit of work. Health total is okay. Statistically, she's all right, I suppose. She comes at fast speed. She also has an innate ability to resist direct mana reduction. Saying, you try and come at my mana, not gonna happen. Deals 400% damage to the target. Summons a replicator minion with 18% HP, 15% attack inherited from the caster. It generates a clone of itself every three turns. Elemental Link gives 4% mana generation for all dark allies for four turns. This effect can't be dispelled, and she dispels buffs from the target and nearby enemies. This video is sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. It is a free massive turn-based dark fantasy RPG. To try this game out, all you gotta do, go to the video description, click on the special links. You'll receive 100,000 silver and one free champion, Accolade. Only available for players for the next 30 days. Any treasure, it's all waiting for you right over here. I love Sus Chat. She's a beast. You don't think you expect it, but that minion gets really annoying and it starts replicating every th three turns. It keeps on making a new one, making a new one. It gets really, really annoying. She's a pain in the butt to deal with on, on defense. And she's, she's pretty sweet on offense. I really love this hero. Super excited when I got her. I know um, she definitely got in some work when she was on my defense. She's dealing quite a bit of damage. She's running at fast speed. She's making a minion. She's also dispelling buffs. She's part of the Ranger class and probably one of the most sought after Ranger heroes. So a very high potential that you got some emblems on her. If you do have this hero, great choice to be putting them on. When we look at her Titan grade, she is going to get an A minus grade there. The reason being at 760, there is a little bit of an issue there. Um, she was bumped down a little bit just because she doesn't really help out too, too much. I think that she does fit in the high tile damage slot for the heroes. Now there is definitely potential that she does make it onto your Titan team just because you have a whole bunch of emblems on her. So she fits in that high tile damage, but she doesn't really help out too much to where she's dispelling. She helps out a little bit with the, the, the elemental link with the 4% generation for all dark allies. That does help out a bit, but the direct damage and the replicator minion, I guess it helps out. Overall, probably a lot better heroes that you could be putting in. If she is going to go on your Titans, she is going to be in your high tile damage slot hero. When we look at our offensive grade, she is going to get an A plus grade. She was an absolute monster and actually a brick contributor like Gwen kind of got pushed around a bit in the past because she's dispelling at fast speed. So you could potentially be um, uh, making it so that uh, you're not really worried about uh, Guinevere going off. So I think that that definitely helps out quite a bit. And she's actually really awesome in this meta right now. You've got Teleria, and everything's actually a little bit in shambles. Things could change around a bit. Maybe Teleria is the top, but I really appreciate the dispelling of the of the buffs. That's going to help out quite a bit. Um, she's dealing a lot of damage. She is going to get an A-plus grade. I really love this here on offense. When we look at her defensive grade, she is going to get a B-plus grade as far as the tank grade goes. Typically, you don't really want a hero that is only single-hitting um, but she is also making a minion so that keeps her alive and she could be dispelling buffs probably not the best place for her 
I would probably rec recommend bringing her around either to the flank of the wing, where she is gonna get an A plus grade as far as her flank grade goes. She can't pair well. She was she got that grade a little bit more because of Guinevere when she was out. Uh, but I still appreciate the fact that she's making a minion. She's hitting pretty hard. This might flex down into an A, to be honest with you. Uh, possibly maybe even to an A minus, but still an overwhelmingly awesome hero. Where I think that she shines the most on defense is definitely going to be in the wing position. I'm sure you've probably seen her around if you're not battling against like a kill hair. Uh, she is in the wing quite a bit. Uh, so usually people are throwing her to the very far right, but I think that she's fine on either way. If you are putting her on defense, absolutely best suited for the wing position. The replicated minion happens quite frequently, especially why she works really well in the wing position is because you could have her go off and not even think about it. And then she's making a minion while you're trying to battle out the remaining heroes that are up in front. So sometimes she gets the stray damage, which makes a minion, which makes it so she keeps on replicating and she stays alive uh, quite a bit. At 18% HP, that does help out. So when you're considering her emblems, uh, I will say that that is a factor, typically attack, power, defense, uh, health, but where they are inheriting uh, from the health, it's important when you're putting emblems on her to focus on attack and the HP so that the minion gets more of a boost there. Uh, so overall, defensively, she is going to get an A plus grade. Absolutely phenomenal. Quite a pain in the butt if she is in the very far wing. Definitely suitable there. When we look at her weekly raid grade, she is going to get an A on rush attack with her now running at very fast speed, replicating her minion, dealing a whole bunch of damage, and then also dispelling any buffs that come through. Uh, pretty awesome on the rush tournaments. And her buff grade now, currently it is an A. I could definitely easily see this going up into an A+, especially because you're giving an elemental link at fast speed. She's also dispelling a buff from the target nearby enemies, dealing quite a bit of damage. Overall, powerhouse on the buff tournaments. She should have an A plus grade there. Right now, she's at an A, very flex. And then in bloody battle, currently right now at an A, again, another situation where this could potentially be an A plus, setting it up so she's dealing a lot of damage at fast speed. She's also making a minion, which is essentially a way to make it so she heals without healing. And then she's also dispelling any buffs. Overall grade though, she is gonna get an A plus grade. No matter how you look at it, she's absolutely amazing in all facets of the game. She works really well. Where she gets dinged a little bit is on, against the Titan, but she's still so great on offense and defense that she still garnishes that A plus grade. So thanks so much for watching this. Please make sure you subscribe, turn the notifications on, and I'll see you on the next video.